Hi, my name is Judith Love Cohen, and I worked together with an astronomer to put together a book called You Can Be a Woman Astronomer. Our books are divided into three parts. The first part, we tell the story of this woman astronomer. In this case, she's a professor of astronomy at UCLA, and she's used the Hubble Space Telescope instruments to study the birth of new stars. The second part of our book, we talk about astronomy and what astronomers study. The third part of the book, we ask what qualities it takes to be an astronomer, what you need to learn, and some questions you can ask yourself so that you can decide whether or not you'd like to be one. Now, astronomers study what's outside the at Earth's atmosphere, just what's out there in space. Ancient astronomers studied the star patterns. They used it to tell time, to navigate, to create calendars. Modern astronomers study three things. First, there's something called cosmology, and this is the study of the universe. Today, astronomers use telescopes, satellites, radio receivers to see how the hundred billion galaxies of a hundred billion stars each are organized. Second, they're interested in the birth of stars. Special instruments allow us to see new stars being formed. Third, we have the old age and death of stars. Stars have different life cycles. Some of them just fade away, some of them explode, and some of them turn into black holes. Again, we need special instruments to study the stars, measure the kind of light or energy they give out. Now, going back to what the ancient astronomers studied, this is a sky chart of the night sky in the northern hemisphere in the fall. If you went outside, you could see some of these star patterns. Uh, one of the things the ancients did is they drew pictures. So Leo the lion actually looks like a triangle on a hook if you look at the stars, but they drew a lion around it. Now, you can learn more from our book, You Can Be a Woman Astronomer, and you can check us out at www.cascadepass.com.